What is up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the Beards Review channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, let's jump back into another stout because it is Joe's calling it Stoutmas, I think. Isn't that right? Hashtag stout season. Hashtag it's always stout season. But I'm catering to the masses, all of you, the 45 of you that watch these videos. Um, we're doing stouts for a while. I'm going to mix some stuff in, so don't don't think it's all you're going to get for the whole winter. Um, as hazy stuff comes in, I review it too. But anyway, look, th this is, comes courtesy of my man, Zach. Uh, we did an in-person trade. He tossed this in. This is Beer Geek, McKellar, Maple, Cocoa, Vanilla, Maple, Cocoa, Vanilla. I believe this is part of the Shake series. Um, this is an oatmeal stout brewed with coffee, vanilla, cocoa, and maple syrup. Um... I thought I'd had this beer before. Apparently not. Um, I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. So, whatever. We're going to go into the Final Fantasy glass from the Answer Brew Pub and all of its greatness. Here we go. Pouring out dark cola colors. There you go. Not much of a head to note. Well, is that, is that coming up? Yeah, there we go. It's building. Gonna end up with two fingers of really dark, thick mocha head. Sits real pretty in there, don't it? Let's get a nose on it. Maple and coffee. And kind of weird smelling. Not a lot of vanilla. A decent amount of maple, a lot of coffee, a little bit of like dry powdered cocoa kind of smell. Kind of what it says on the label. I'm not getting any vanilla though. Nope, no vanilla. Let's check the temp. 55 degrees. That's the way we want them. I've been sitting out of the fridge just a little bit. All right, let's get a taste. Ooh, that is sweet. Um, oh, the maple stickiness on the back end. Okay. Um, we're going to go almost full mouthfeel. No, I'm going to go full. It's, it's big. It's not massively full, but it's full. Front end of this, coffee, cocoa powder. A hint of vanilla, ever so slight. Back into this sticky maple syrup. Um, the front of this cocoa powder is like straight up Hershey's scoopable powder that you bake with. I mean, it is so there, it's unbelievable. And then the back end of this fades into that maple sticky sweetness. At first, I thought this beer was going to be too sweet for me. Now, don't get me wrong. It is hashtag diabetes, okay? Hashtag betus, hashtag diabetes, whatever you want to call it. It's there. Look at the stick. Look at the look at the alcohol eggs on that. I mean, what did I say this was? 13%. I got no, I, I mean, just, I'll go, I'll go a touch of booze. A touch. This is a very good beer, though. Um, very enjoyable for me. I really dig it. Zach's two for two, man. Because uh, he, he had the Cocoa Banger, too. Um, this is very, very good. I don't know what this cost a can. It's McKellar, so I bet it's expensive. Um, we, don't get the, we don't get a lot of the shake stuff here. Um, every now and then something shows up, but not the, not the cans like these. They don't move for some reason. This would move, though, I promise. Um, very good. Uh, very, very good. Trade for it. Buy it. 10, 12 a can. You're going to get your money's worth in this stout. It's good. I dig it. This is McKellar Beer Geek Cocoa Vanilla Maple Shake, I think, is what it's called. Fantastic. There's your label. Track it down. Peace. Maybe we'll try to get a screenshot out of that. If I make some extreme face, does it get it? I'll have to see if that's the... That's the thumbnail. Anyway, hey, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, please. 
Until next time, peace.